Let's take a look at the sharing functionality of a Crotus Cyber Protect Cloud file sync and share. If the administrator has enabled sharing, then users can share specific files or entire folders. It can be as simple as coming in here and getting a link to a file. I could set this to be a public link. I could decide that I want it to expire after a certain number of days or even uh, immediately after the first use. And so now we've got that link and yeah, let's go open a separate browser where we are not signed in. And then based on that link, I can go view or download that file. And since I set that as a one-time download link, I'll come in and try to use that again. And so now it tells me that that link has already expired. Another variation of that is sending a link to a file. Here you can type in the email address of a user or group. If they've not been previously invited, they'll receive an invitation to, to sign in and set a password. Or if I wanted to share the whole folder, Go back up say, to this level and see that this folder is currently shared based on that sharing icon there. If I want to go take that forms folder and share that, uh, here I can go and put in email address, optional message, and then decide what privileges that person has. Then you have the same same options again for like having the folder share expire won't won't delete the folder but you could have the folder sharing expire on a after a certain date we come over to this browser here we're signed in as joe demo and so now we see those uh, see the uh, let's refresh this here Okay, so now these are the uh, folders that are currently shared out to, to Joe Demo by the other user. And I left that with the editing capability turned on. So if I say I wanted to come in here and delete this file based on the current permissions, I'm allowed to do that. And then that will be reflected in the original folder as well. Uh, actually, a related aspect to that is that you could have revisions of files and show deleted ones depending on the admin settings. So here, if I show deleted, I can see there is that that file that the user just deleted, and I could actually go and restore that or see other other versions of that. You could also share a folder out to groups of users. So take this folder is not currently shared and say share. I could go and put in the name of a sharing group. So I sort of type marketing here, it auto completed that. That's based on having that previously set up here as a sharing group, decide which members are part of that. And then if I go and share that out, be, be the same concept except that it would go to the uh, users that are in that in that group or users that might be added to that uh, later on would have access to it as well. A third method for folder and file sharing is what we call upload requests. So here, I currently have no upload requests. If I go create folder, we can call it whatever we want. So let's call it uploads. And now let's say send upload request. I could go with this as is, make this a public link or more specific or set restrictions on it. Let's go ahead and go with the defaults. And now if we open up another browser, then a user with that link could go and upload into that file, into that folder. So 
now drag that file in and we can upload that and then come back here to the view for the user that created that upload folder. So now we can see that that, that file has been uploaded. You can also manage the upload requests here. So you'll see, see the ones that have been set up and I could go and uh, delete this or change it as, as needed. You can also track the individual sharing links as well. So you can see the ones that I've set up before. I could come in here, revoke these or modify these as needed as well. And then everything is tracked uh, through the, the log as well here.